when people say that Welsh people are always singing or people can, Welsh people will always burst into song and sing a hymn or something, I think it's tapping into this old um, melodic memory that people have of these old tunes and this old folk music. But Welsh music today is everything, isn't it? You know, it's, it's, it's drill and it's hip hop and it's dance music and it's electronic music and it's drum and bass and it's rock music and it's guitar music. Um, I don't think there's any one particular type of Welsh music. In my opinion, the greater the diversity of music that is made in the Welsh language, the better, you know. And I think that that is that is 100% my stance. Um, there are, I, I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go down a, a traditionalist route where you know that you have to separate music. And you know, my, I myself, I'm not a sort of a traditional folk singer in a way. You know, uh, as you mentioned earlier, my, my style of music is to take, you know, I do perform Welsh folk songs, but I do them in my own style, and I also write songs influenced by either the words or the melodies of Welsh folk songs, but they're, they're new songs, they're original songs. Song. People don't really care what language you're performing in. They can just feel the music and they can still feel connected. And that's the beauty of making music. If you can achieve that, I think you've achieved something quite big. My name is Elim Parisa Fuladi and I am singing under the name Parisa Fuladi with a project I've been working on for a couple of years now, maybe a bit longer. And it's quite soulful um, with elements of jazz and pop. Um, it's quite difficult to describe the sound of the music, I would say. Um, I've been making music for years, um, but this is the first time where I feel the most comfortable and I feel like I'm just being myself and it's a lovely feeling. Parisa Fuladi is a female artist from Wales who has Iranian roots. She strongly supports using the Welsh language in the Welsh music industry to support the growth of Welsh music and culture. Um, I do feel strongly about the fact that we do need to keep the language alive. Um, and I, I know the dangers of, of anglicising things, in not, not just in Wales, in any country, you know, Welsh music is such a broad spectrum of different genres. There's the very famous kind of male voice choir um, tradition, which is still very strong, um, the hymn singing tradition, um, but we also have a very rich folk singing tradition. Um, very old poetry was sung and played on the harp, which is a traditional instrument. In 2013, Gwyneth Glynn collaborated with Tosif Akhtar and his team from India to produce a track named Gazalo. Gwyneth became the first Welsh artist to collaborate with an Indian artist internationally. The song is a fusion of Welsh folk songs and Indian ghazal. I think many people have heard for the first time about the Welsh language through music. I had uh, a friend at university who learned Welsh because he was obsessed with super furry animals and that's the first time he'd heard Welsh and there are many other examples of that but I think it's also wonderful to take the Welsh language out of Wales internationally and show that we do have a thriving uh, culture of Welsh language music. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Min all am line, some mid or quit your day, mind or pen shop your tray, twin son I'm cock let your day, twin table me do on ninja pama pow and go in share, or pop on that team help it at the rise your accord cake, what I take, got no time for gaddy or things stack your press. Put my sage and text up I just like rap. I just have an affinity for rap. I've been brought up with different hip hop and rap since I was young, so it makes me feel a way other genres don't. So when I was hearing certain songs on the radio, I identified with it and felt like I could do that. So I started writing. And then later on, as I felt like I was getting better, I started incorporating Welsh into it. It's my second language, so it's a bit more difficult than English to, to make it sound as, as relevant, but uh, it's another challenge and I enjoy it. Sage Thoughts is a Welsh rapper who is born and brought up in Penny Grove. His video of rapping in the Welsh language went viral on Twitter in 2022 and soon became popular among you. His video posted on Twitter reached more than 1 lakh views. My journey through this has been interesting if we're talking money wise. It's difficult. But I work a part-time job, I work three days a week. I think that's the case with most of the artists that are from this area. They work jobs as well. Uh, music doesn't pay as much as you think, so... But I don't, I'm not complaining about it, it's just the reality. I have to work in order to uh, achieve what I want to achieve. So yeah, man, I just put my head down, work, and then try and make the best out of every music opportunity that I have. If we go back um, to the late 90s, we had this thing called Cool Cymru going on. We had a lot of uh, really well-known bands, you know, Super Furry Animals, we had Catatonia, Manic Street Peters who were still going. We had three or four bands who were at the top of their game at the same time. And that, that led up to, to this idea of Cool Cymru. In some ways that receded in, in, into, this, into this century. And I think what you, we now have is a lot more uh, variation of, of, of styles. Um, we have a lot more confidence, for example, uh, for people singing in Welsh. Just because English is a global language, it doesn't mean that, that you know, it should be spoken everywhere. Because you've seen it in lots of countries, languages do die out because there's a lot of English coming in people are speaking English rather than speaking the mother tongue. And I, and I think that's sad, and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to, pro wanting to protect our language. That's what makes Wales so unique. That's, that's where the original idea came from. Do it even cover your maxim? Does neighbor in Abado? Mami la chwechant of l'nadoid An amser hi hir hir kor On aid magnus maximus o gymri An a wyr in tri chant wyr tri An gadael yn genedl gyfan A heni wyr eni And singing is very much a part of Welsh culture and we get a good grounding in the idea of performing songs in front of audiences. Um, and I started writing then my own songs when I was 18 uh, or so and, and uh, um, I've been singing ever since. Um, uh, people ask me why, why don't I sing in English? Well, it's quite simple. Welsh is my language. Welsh is the language of my family and my history. And, and I think and see the world through Welsh language eyes, uh, as it were. So my songs are in Welsh. And, and I'm glad now that I'm being recognised as a Welsh language singer. Just because English is a global language, it doesn't mean that, that you know, it should be spoken everywhere because you've seen it in lots of countries. Languages do die out because there's a lot of English coming in. 
people are speaking English rather than speaking the mother tongue. And I, and I think that's sad and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to, pro wanting to protect our language. That's what makes Wales so unique. Just because English is a global language, it doesn't mean that, that you know, it should be spoken everywhere because you've seen it in lots of countries, languages do die out because there's a lot of English coming in. People are speaking English rather than speaking the mother tongue. And I, and I think that's sad and I don't think there's anything wrong with wanting to, pro wanting to protect our language. That's what makes Wales so unique. The way that the UK is sort of orientated and always has been has been to undermine and to or to ignore uh, Welsh language and culture and pretty much every other culture that doesn't conform to a very stereotypical English language culture. And so I think that throughout history, even back before David Iwan, back into the folk, you know, canon, people were always writing from a perspective of they need they, they weren't necessarily able to express themselves so freely as the rest of the country perhaps and as a result people always say oh well singing in Welsh is a nationalist statement. Well the importance of, of music uh, well, a number of roles isn't it one one role of music is an expression of, of people's sort of tastes and, and cultural interests and identity. Um, the other thing, of course, is that music, there are, there are fashions in music as with anything else. And if, if, a, if a language doesn't adapt and become fashionable, it means that uh, younger generations are not attracted to the language and culture. I think music has to change all the time. Um, you have to adapt. That is why traditional music cannot be kept as a kind of museum piece, you know, uh, it, it cannot be kept unchanged. It has to breathe and it has to develop and has to grow. Well, it's the same with form of music. Choirs have to adapt and change. As with any, any culture, uh, Welsh musical culture develops and changes and modernizes. You know, it it it, it uh, follows newer fashions and and tries to adapt to those newer international fashions, if you like, and and create a Welsh version of those. I've performed internationally in Europe and in Washington D.C. at the Smithsonian Folklife Festival where I used to sing my songs in Welsh and I realised there's a very eager audience, a very open-minded uh, international audience for Welsh music um, who just want to hear the stories behind these beautiful songs, although they might not understand every word. And so that opened my mind in terms of realising how far and how broad Welsh music can go.